Hello, Amanda here from Faithfully Homemade. Today I'm going to show you the activities that I have for my five-year-old today. And um, these are for this week. I'm going to start out, these activities are for, uh, I have one bin here and these are his phonics and reading activities. And then this one is his are his math activities. So I'm going to show you those. The first thing I'm going to start with is this activity. I just got these from Lakeshore Learning uh, over the Christmas holiday, and I am so excited about these. Now, I'm going to start him with level one, even though he's past level one, but I'm going to start him with it so he gets used to how to do these, and then I'm going to move him on. It comes in a box. Here, I'll grab the box here. It comes in this box. They are called Stack and Build Phonics Flip Books, and I'm super excited about these, and they come with three different levels. So uh, the first level is just basic CVC words, and then the second level puts blends and digraphs, and then, or maybe that's the third level, I'm not sure. And then this red level here um, is like long vowels and short vowel, or long vowels and just all sorts of mixed up special sounds it looks like. Um, so I'm excited, oh here, level one, level two, level three. Anyways, <laughs> it shows you what they are, but I'm gonna start him in level one for this week so he gets used to how to do these and then we're gonna keep on using them. I am not sponsored by Lakeshore Learning, although I wish I was. So Lakeshore Learning, if you're watching, I would love to do a video for you, but anyway, I'm not. So, but I just think that these are great. I love Lakeshore Learning. So what you do is you have these tiles in here and you give them a flip book. And then it tells you what tiles you're gonna need. So then they would have to lay out the tiles, or actually I probably will lay out the tiles that we would need. Okay, I laid out the tiles that we need. It shows me over here. And then what they're gonna do is they're gonna look at the picture and they're gonna make the words. So he's gonna make the word cat Mom, look, I, I with the tiles. My awesome, buddy. So he's gonna make the word cat and then he'd flip the page. And the next page is the word hat. So he's gonna figure, have to figure out what letter he has to change to make the word hat. And then he's just gonna stick it right on top. Isn't that cool? And then he flips the page and now he's gonna make hut. So he has to change it to a, is that a hut? Yeah, he'll change it to a U. They didn't tell me I needed a U. Maybe they did. Oh, yep, yeah, they did. I didn't pull out a U. But you get the idea. So then they would just keep on changing. This would be hug and bug. So he's gonna keep on changing the um, letter, like one letter at a time to make all the different new words. Isn't that cool? And you just like put them on top of each other. Anyways, I was just amazed when I saw these and I had to get them. Um, so obviously level one, these books are really, really easy. But like I said, I want him to tr start out with these and go from there. So he gets the idea on how to change the words and then we will go on to the harder ones. All right, the next thing that I have here, I made this myself by hand, and this is just a little notepad that I had. What I did is I wrote different words on each page of the little notebook. So you could do this with any kind of notebook you have. And then I wrote words that he's work, you know, been working on, words that have special sounds like digraphs, um, long vowels and so on. Just different sounds he's working on. Um, blends, PL, and this one has DR. So L blends and R blends and stuff like that. So what I'm gonna have him do is I'm just gonna have him take a pencil and he's going to circle the special sounds. He's gonna mark the vowels. Like So if it's long, he's gonna mark it long. If it's short vowel, he's gonna mark it short and he's going to circle the special sounds and he's gonna to have to read, obviously, each word. If he reads it correctly and marks it correctly, then he can put a little sticker. I pulled out some snowflakes because obviously we're doing winter and he can put a little sticker on each page. So just something fun for him to do with that. All right, the rest of his phonics activities and reading activities in here are all um, my winter activity centers that I created. If you did not see the video where I show you how I use all of these, um, I will leave the link to the video below. So the first one he's gonna be doing is the Read and Feed Penguins. He is also going to be doing the Polar Blends. I made this one specifically for him because he's been working on blends, but um, this one is just gonna be a lot of fun because he gets to use Play-Doh. And then um, this one is so much fun too because he cannot wait. I've made this um, a sensory bin with uh, snowballs. You, if you saw my other video, you know what I'm talking about. Um, if you haven't, like I said, check out that video. I'll leave the link below. But um, 
he gets to go inside there and find the matching uh, rhyming words. So he's going to be doing that one. He's going to be doing the Magic E Snowflakes, where he changes the short vowel word to a long vowel word. And then he's going to be doing the Winter Syllables Interactive Book. Uh, I can't wait to do that one with him because we have not done syllables yet. And then the last thing I have in here, since he has been doing blends, is this is a different activity that I created a while back. This is part of my magnetic letter activity set. And these have um, all of these blends I put magnets on the back and then it goes with these mats and he's going to be doing this on a cookie sheet and matching up like sl would go with slide and so on i have them all stuck inside here obviously i would take all of these out and this is the front side and then this is the back side so on the back side sl would go with sled as you can see. So he's got to match up the different blends with this activity. And since they are magnetic, he's going to do it on a cookie sheet where it's magnetic. And that'll be fun as well. So those are the phonics activities. I'm not going to go into each one of these in this video because I did that in the other video. And then the same thing with his math activities. Um, I have, these are also from my winter activity centers. I have the telling time polar bears he's going to be doing. He's going to be doing the hot cocoa edition. He can't wait for this one either because he wants to eat these marshmallows <laughs> that I have in here for this one. Basically, they use the marshmallows to help them do the addition on the um, hot cocoa mugs, and then they have to find the answer. So he's gonna, he, he, told, he just told me today, I can't wait to do that tomorrow. I want to eat marshmallows. So those are in there. Um, he's going to be doing the skip counting mazes and ordering. Um, he is pretty good at counting by 10, so we're going to be doing the ones that are counting by fives. Again, look for that other video if you want to see these in detail. And then um, also I threw in here the snow globe shape sorting. I figured his little brother, uh, one of his little brothers also, um, his little brother that just turned four would also like to do this with him. So I put it in his box, but when we do it, I'm sure his... A little brother will want to do that with him as well. Okay, so that and then the other math activities I have in here are that I pulled out. Um, is he's still working with subtraction. So I pulled this out. This is from my early learners um, math curriculum. This is one of the subtraction centers. And he's just going to be using a dry erase marker with these. And what he does is this one is 5 minus 1. He's going to use the picture here to help him. And he's going to cross out. There's five um, balls that the boy is juggling. He's going to cross one out. And then he sees that there are four left. And then he's going to write his answer. And then we can obviously erase these because they are dry erase. So there's just different ones like this one's five minus two this one just has um five turtles on it he's gonna cross out two and he sees that there are three left and he'll write it down so there are just all sorts of different ones in here for him to do some of them have ice cream some of them have candy where he crosses them out um so this is just practicing more of his subtraction so three minus one he crossed out one and his answer is two okay so he's going to be doing those so I will leave a link below to my early learners math curriculum so you can take a look at those. You can also just get um, the unit on subtraction by itself if you're interested. All right, and then the last thing is we're going to be practicing with our cards here. Okay, so these are my Touchpoint Math cards. If you did not see the video I did on Touchpoint Math, I will try to remember to leave a link below to that video as well. Um, but basically, Touchpoint Math uses dots on each of the numbers to help children um, when they are doing basic math concepts. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pick two cards. So I'm going to pick a 2 and I'm going to pick a 5 for the sake of... Um, this video and uh, I'm gonna use my dice here you don't have to have the dice because you could just pick two cards and do it like that but I'm gonna use the dice so that he can see the actual number sentence so we'll put a subtraction there or, well we'll have to do it like this if we're doing subtraction and actually we'll do addition I'll show you addition first okay so um, 5 plus 2 equals and then he's just going to use some of his number manipulatives here I have. I have a little box here of all sorts of different numbers and he has to find the answer. So here's five and then he's gonna use his touch points to add more. So five, six, seven. And so now he knows his answer is seven. So he's going to find the number seven and place it down to show his number sentence. Okay, you could also do it with, we're also gonna do it with subtraction since he's been working with subtraction. So five minus two. He's going to say he always has to touch the first number uh, or touch the bigger number when you're doing addition. With subtraction, you always touch the first number because it is always the bigger number. So you say five 
minus two, you're going to count back two as he touches. So he's going to say five, four, three. So he knows his answer is three. He's going to find a three manipulative and put his answer down. So that is the last thing we're going to be doing. Again, if you're interested in seeing those winter activities that we're going to be doing, check out that video below. And yeah, these are the activities I'm doing with my five-year-old this week. And I hope this was interesting for you. I used to name these videos... Um, first grade work boxes, but I thought that so, he's doing some things he does are first grade, some things he does are kindergarten because he's really only five, five years old. He's really a kindergartner, but he does do a lot of things that first graders would do. But I thought I would start labeling these videos more like five-year-old activities um, just because that will give you an idea. Like if you're working with a four-year-old or a five-year-old or a six-year-old, these are all um, activities that would help any of those type of, you know, those ages. So uh, I figured I would start naming them that so people could find my videos a little bit easier. So they're not just specifically looking for first grade activities. These are activities you could do with kindergartners. They are activities you could do with second graders. Um, he's just, he's right in that age range. Um, some of these activities, you know, are anywhere from He's anywhere from kindergarten to second grade with, with his ability levels. So, all right, guys, uh, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.